Well, it's one of those magical moments when the planning all becomes reality. To be here at Ochre Court, here in the campus of Salve Regina University, and see all these amazing veteran cars here is spectacular. A beautiful sunny day, nice and cool, but not cold. And it is astonishing to be able to see history in motion. Today is a day I've been looking forward to for months and months and months. In fact, probably a year, because I remember having a conversation with Donald Osborne, and we both agreed that it would be a wonderful time to hold an event for pre-07 cars in Newport, where history lives with the motor car. What better place? As Nick said, many, many times, this is where the home of sports cars, sport racing, started. And where else should the Audrain be? There isn't a better place. It's just perfectly set where it should be. And what's so important about this is that we, we want everybody to realize where the history of the automobile came from. And that's what's the most important to me, is, is that continuing that history for years, many, many years, and many, many generations to come. And this is the best way to do it. If they're sitting still in somebody's garage or in a museum, no one can understand. But today we're going to see a lot of people inside the roads, and they'll understand what it's all about. I think it's really important to have these cars out on the road and not just sitting in the museum. That's where cars go to die. It's a horrible thing to say, but if you leave a car for a prolonged period of time without running it, they deteriorate, they start getting aged. These cars need to be exercised and they need events like this to uh, bring them out and give them a reason to drive. Because sitting in a museum, they die. And the more you use it, the less deterioration you have. And we like all of our cars to be out, be used, be enjoyed. That's what they were here for. And yeah. you know what you think? I mean, absolutely. It is the history. Yeah. We are a bunch of guys with about 25 cars, 1907 and earlier. We're going to drive it 40 miles. And hopefully, we all make it there and make it back. We are driving a 1902 Packard Model F, and I have exactly one quarter mile of driving experience in this vehicle. So <laughs> we borrowed it from the Audrain Museum, and uh, what could possibly go wrong? What's the highest speed a crash could happen? Like 25? Yeah. Oh, what could be Which isn't that bad. I can, we can run 15. <laughs> I think you have to respect the fact that the, the whole hobby, the passion for collecting automobiles, for using automobiles, uh, begins with all of this. This is where the, the hobby, it's where the industry, everything began with these cars. And I think it's important for people to realize where, as with all life, where things actually come from, where the genesis of these things is. And it's nice to actually appreciate that these cars still work, that you can get out in them and you can use them. We have here a 1904 Oldsmobile. They call it a curved dash. You'll see the little scoop up like a sleigh on the front of it. Um, it has about six horsepower, horizontal, a single cylinder engine, um, nice high center of gravity. You'll see the springs that are just uh, peak in the center of the car there. In the days when, uh, if you'd done this back in 1904, you would have found that the roads were terrible and you really needed to keep a high center of gravity above the mud and, and roll along what, what people would call roads. I have the most fantastic co-pilot uh, being Donald Osborne, who obviously is part of the Audrain and uh, a car collector enthusiast and opera singer and many other talents to, uh, I, 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 I'm in the shadow of such, uh, such knowledge. You know, heritage needs to be celebrated. And we see all our friends and car collectors here being the guardian 
of the heritage of the automotive industry. <laughs> and for us, at Bentley, having such a long heritage too, this is what is very precious to us, for the brand, and uh, uh, to make sure that we are always going to respect where we are coming from. And the brand DNA always remain with our, our product moving forward. Well, Bonhams was the partner for the Vintage Car Rally in the uh, VCC event in London and Brighton uh, for decades. And having them join us here uh, and having them support us is just bringing that English history to where it belongs in, on the U.S. side with the same cars. So I think it's a really perfect partnership. And Bentley, it's back to making amazing cars built around the technology of Bentley and it's an amazing car. It was, and it is again. So I think the history is what this is all about. That's why they're perfect partners. We couldn't be happier to be here. Uh, our car ran in the London Brighton run, so this is a, a, a real uh, chance to recreate the history of that race. I, I, I love cars because my grandfather loved cars and I worked in his shop with him and, and my uncles love cars and my cousins love cars. We share the love of cars with each other and with our entire family. So that was, it was great to be able to bring so many people, I think we have 15 people from our family here because as soon as uh, a cousin heard that this was happening, oh I want to come, and then another one said, oh I'm coming too, and then my daughter wants to come, and so pretty soon we had the whole gang here. Just couldn't be happier. The turnout was incredible. I think we had 75 or 100 people at breakfast. Uh, we have 30 cars in the run. We started at Oakland Court uh, that was allowed us to use by the Salve Regina College. And uh, it, it's just a wonderful way to start because that house dates the same as this 1904 Oldsmobile. Mm -hmm. So um, it's, you think about it, in its place, at its home, in its time, but today. I think everything the Audrain is doing here in Newport and everywhere else they're doing things is really first class. I think the fact that they do a revival of these early cars that are seemingly forgotten by a lot of people in the collector hobby even. You know, everybody thinks these are just museum cars. But the best part of owning one of these cars is getting out on an open road. Before we start, I just really want to thank um, Nick and Shelley and this amazing Audrain team for just uh, being so incredibly together. And I've, I've done a lot of events, and I have to say, this team's got their act together. So thank you very much. Well, I love Audrey, and, and I can't be happier to be a motorsports member. Um, I've just enjoyed every event that, that, that uh, the group has put on. We've uh, always done very well. I mean, look, we're here at Oak Court in, the, in the, uh, the, the shadow of the history of Newport. And tying uh, the history of Newport to the car, the car history of Newport, is something that Audrey does very well. And I, I think this is the epitome of it. We, uh, we made it to Bristol, which was great. Uh, it wasn't exactly easy. Uh, apparently it took um, Evan and Ian uh, like hours and hours of fiddling over the last couple days to get that thing to run right. And then about three blocks away from the start, it just stopped running right. It just didn't want to uh, rev. And if you applied throttle, it would die. So actually it would, it would, the, it would run better in idle. So we literally just had to idle from Newport to Bristol. So we, we could use the gears and it's a big single so it had some torque, but like literally we idled it 20 miles. And so it took two and a half hours to get there. It's, uh, it's unfortunate because I had a really good time. It's neat even though we're going super slow. Um, and I, I, I really enjoyed experiencing the car and seeing Newport, it's a lovely town. I, I couldn't feel my hands or my feet by the time we got there, um, but it was uh, a really fun experience and I would like to try it again. Hopefully uh, Donald invites me back next year and it's really fun. It takes you back to a different time period and, and reminds you that you know driving used to be a very physical 
uh, exposed uh, and slow going activity. Well, I had a great time. The day was not a failure. It was we had a great time. We 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 made it, you know, to lunch. And you know, because we were like later than everybody else, it was kind of like a fanfare when we actually got there. So that you know, that was pretty fun. And uh, and we got to see what it's like to to drive a car from that was built seven years before my grandfather was born. You know, that's interesting stuff to me. Yeah, plus look at this outfit I got to wear. This outfit rules. This is great. I mean, look at these pants. What else would I wear those? You got like, you know, you got the bow tie going. I mean, it's a whole thing. Except this is like as formal as I've ever dressed. This is like what Donald would wear to the gym. This Donald only goes up from here. This is like, this is, this is Donald's like slumming it outfit. What I'm feeling right now is the fact that this is a 120-year-old car that has just completed a 41-mile round trip from Newport to Bristol and back on roads very dissimilar to those that existed when this car was new, and yet it performed so incredibly capably a single cylinder conveyance that for the people of the time when this car was built must have felt like a magic carpet. When you think about the fact that people rode and walked everywhere they went, they rode a horse or they walked everywhere they went, this must have been like flying on air. And to experience this today, climbing hills at 15 and 16 miles per hour, feeling almost effortless, it's astonishing to think about the achievement of the people that built this car back then and the fact that I can enjoy this car today in the manner in which the people who built it intended it to be used. It's amazing. Try that with almost anything else in our current personal existence. You can't use a telephone from the beginning of the time of the telephone, today the way we use a telephone, we can use this car the same way we can. And that's magic. The turnout was fantastic and it's just the beginning. I mean, we see with the enthusiasm of the participants, the enthusiasm of the spectators, the enthusiasm of the state police, this is going to be a really big thing. And to be here at the start of this is wonderful. Today is very, very special. Um, and it's a new event that nobody really has done in the United States before. And I think it's going to spread. I'm looking forward to next year, the years after. Next year, I've already got interest coming from abroad, from Europe, from Great Britain. There are going to be many, many more cars on this event next year. And it's here to stay. That's what's so good. Um,